Hello everybody, it is Wednesday night, February 3rd, 2021. It's up to 9 degrees out there, St. John's, Mount Pearl, CBS area. Green grass might actually be on the horizon. And for all of us, those election signs in the snowbanks are going to be knocked over, so... <laughs> fun day tomorrow. Three days, three debates. Very interesting, very different. We had a teachers association debate on education issues with the Federation of Labor talk about uh, labor issues. I guess the big one that we just call the TV debate and different format and I think it was the best of the three debates. Bottom line, um, I don't have to tell you who won the debate, just go on Twitter and don't even look at the partisans, look at the neutrals. This little orange engine that could. Newfoundland NDP party. Always kind of hung around there. We've been here for 60 plus years. 1961. We've held anywhere from one to five seats in the house, but never more. Now's the time, people. If you watch these debates, if you read the platforms, if you read the newspaper or watch the 6 o'clock news, I think you'll realize that this is a very critical choice. It's either a question of the status quo or we need change. The Liberals and the Conservatives, they're both right-wing parties. NDP is center-left. We've lived through the Dunderdale budget. Uh, we've lived through the colossal overspending on Muskrat Falls, which I said from day one, way back in 2011, was a bad idea. The Liberals could have shut it down when they came into power, but they did not. Now the issue is living wage, minimum wage, people laid off, CERB, unemployment, businesses going under because they can't, they're not getting customers. I don't know. Um, this Green Report, which we haven't seen yet, which may or may not be written in part or in full, it's being written by Moya Green, who if you research her, realize she's very right wing as well. Now, more, to, more than ever before is it critical that we have balance in our government. If the Liberals are going to win this election, then we need to make sure it's not a majority, it's a minority. If you're going to vote Liberal, go ahead and just probably stop watching this video because you're not going to get much out of me. I was initially sick and tired of politics took a back seat to it. I ran in the 2013 municipal election, 2015 federal election, again in the 2017 municipal election. Four years later, I finally said, I got to get involved. I got to do something. I can't just sit back and watch this great province crumble. I came here in 2007. I was supposed to stay for two years and leave, but I fell in love with this place so much that I decided to stay, and I'm still here. I want to stay here. But everybody's right. If we don't have jobs, if we don't have jobs that pay a living wage, people are going to leave. Young people, middle-aged people, older people, mainlanders who want to become Newfoundlanders, like me. Take a look at my opponents. Jim Lester. He's got a family farm, a business. I believe he even was blatantly, openly honest when he was being sought by both parties. Bit of a, uh, what's the word, scandal? He talked to the Liberals and the Conservatives and basically said, I'll run for whichever party gives more money to the farms, i.e. my farm. We got Miss Stoyles, what can we say about her? Mount Pearl, city councillor, now wants to run federally, or excuse me, provincially. Lifelong politician. S status quo is what you're going to get there, folks. You like the way things have been going the past 10 years? Keep voting liberal. You want change? 
you can either vote if you're lucky enough to have an independent candidate on the ballot. Um, there may be an alliance candidate on I think six, six out of the forty ridings. The NDP we got a little bit of heat for not filling all forty slates, but we've got thirty three. So ultimately, folks, if you're sick and tired of the status quo and you want some change, maybe you're not even completely comfortable with the idea of the NDP forming government. But realistically, this is a vote to hold the government accountable. Allison might not say it, but I'll say it. We're probably not going to get a majority government for the NDP, maybe not even a minority government. It's all about the balance of power. If we can win even a third of these 33 seats, you give us 11 of those seats, give the couple to the alliance, vote in some independents. The magic number is 22. If the Liberals get 22 out of the 40, then it's their government for four years they can do whatever the hell they want they don't need a, to be held accountable in voting other we'll have question period we'll have filibusters we'll do whatever we have to do but realistically they're gonna ram down our throats whatever it is that that green report says there's gonna be cuts in there um, it's not gonna be pretty and a lot of people are gonna get up and leave we've already heard Chess Crosby say that he's gonna if he's elected premier He's going to file for bankruptcy and ask Justin Trudeau to help us, which may or may not mean we lose our status as a province. We could go down to territorial um, jurisdiction, which means we don't have a provincial government. The federal government basically has to okay and approve everything that we want to do. So be very careful about that approach. and. Uh, if you're trying to figure out between a conservative and an NDP, I'm here to say vote for that NDP. Give us that opportunity. Um, we saw what, what could be done when the NDP was the number two party in, in the House of Assembly, excuse me, House of Commons federally in Canada. Jack Layton wave, 11 to 15, we got a lot done. If you haven't seen it, go on YouTube, look for the debate. Hear what Alison Coffin had to say. Look how poor Fury looked trying to defend his crazy, ridiculous ideas. And, and Chess Crosby, he, I'm sure he's a nice guy, but he just he's not very good at uh, articulating uh, in debates, in my personal opinion. And I'm specifically looking and talking to you, younger people, first-time voters. Maybe second time voters. The future is in your hands. If you're 18 to 25, you're probably being told what I was told 25 years ago when I graduated from high school. Oh, what a future it's going to be. Lots of great opportunities. But no. Our baby boomer generation made a mess and left it in our laps. And we're still trying to, to clean it up. Heck. 47 years old and I'm still a young professional I don't want you people who are younger to be in this seat 25 years from now we got to do better we got to start now we got to send in people who are serious about this I've got experience dealing with government issues I've worked for provincial governments federal governments I've even helped pioneer the concept of Integrated service delivery and e-government. We got to get governments working together, the feds and the province. We need to be able to merge when we can. We don't need how many different IT departments do we need? Well, not not one for every department was what they said, and they started creating these super IT centers called the Chief Information Offices. I was there in Ontario when they did it. I came here shortly after Newfoundland had theirs. So the choice is yours, folks. But please, I know it's rough. We're all trying to survive. But this vote means a lot. We need to hear from everyone. We can't just hear from the rich people who you know always vote. Stand up for what's right for you and have your voice heard, people. I'm Jennifer McCreeth. I'm running for Mount Pearl North. I appreciate your support. Thank you for watching my video today. Have a great day.